New developments tonight following the death of Hartford firefighter Kevin Bell. A federal report says his air tank alarm system may not have been working properly. Good evening, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. I'm Ann Niver. We know Bell died from asphyxiation. This new report might lead to answers as to why. News 8's Tina Detell is live in the Hartford Newsroom with more on what this report says. Tina? You know, while looking into this preliminary report, we also spoke to the union president and the fire department, and both of them tell us that while this low air alarm may not have been working properly, it was working. So we also went to the state fire academy to take a look at that equipment. This Viber alarm, which alerts firefighters when their tank has about 25% capacity left, is what the preliminary report from the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH, says didn't pass federal tests on fallen firefighter Kevin Bell's equipment the day he died fighting a Hartford fire last October. NIOSH testing concluded that the, the low air alarm came on at 1,026 PSI, which is 9 PSI. Less than it is supposed to be. Both union president Vince Fusco and the Hartford Fire Department say this deficiency would not have been noticed by the user. The department adds it was confirmed by personnel operating at the scene that firefighter Bell's low air alarms activated and alerted those members to leave the building. NIOSH also tested a second Scott air pack used by firefighter Jason Martinez, who was badly burned in the fire. The agency says that equipment didn't pass a 30-minute pressure test and hadn't been tested for years. Fusco says daily checks are done. Are you confident that his equipment was working correctly when he yes. came about this fire? Yes, yes. And also Mr. Martinez as yes. well? Fusco says NIOSH's full report, which he doesn't expect until the fall, should determine if there were issues with training, command and control, and tactical operations. But one thing may remain a mystery. I can't explain how, when he knew he had to leave the building, he never made it out of the building and was rendered unconscious. And that's, you're never, you're never going to get any real closure from it. Now, Fusco expects that the Connecticut OSHA report will be the first full report released, possibly this spring. We're live in the, new Hart in the Hartford newsroom. Tina Detell, News 8.